Jason. Good morning. How Welcome are you? to iFix Omaha. Thank you. Tell me about iFix Omaha. What do you guys do here? Well, we fix anything with a chip in it. Um, we primarily are a mobile device hardware repair company. Our bread and butter, our, it's going to be smartphones, tablets, laptops, computers, gaming consoles, and then the list goes on and on because as you look around your house and your workplace or your car, these days everything has a chip in it. Yeah, that's great. So you get to do everything. Absolutely. Oh, wow. What happened here? Um, I don't know. Well, you've got a broken screen. We get this a lot. Someone says, I really don't know how it happened. Yeah, they never know. That's why I don't let them touch my phone. Well, good news. We can fix this. It only takes about 30 minutes, so we should probably be able to do it today. Do you want to see how we do it, where the magic happens? Yeah, let's go check it out. Sure. All okay. right. All right. So this is where the magic happens. We call this the bench because it's a bench. It's a repair bench. Yeah. And Primarily, this is where most of the work by Fix Omaha takes place. Their creativity kind of leads this company. So why are you guys a chamber member? What do you get out of it? Well, I just love the, the culture of partnership that's forged there. I love the fact that you have a community of business owners and business leaders that all have the same goal in mind, which is let's make this city better for the people that live there, better for business. And we realize that relationships matter and that we work together for a common good. And uh, there's a lot of helping one another yeah. that goes on there. Yeah, that's great. Cool. So what brings you the most pride doing what you do? Well, we have a motto um, within our team that it's always do the right thing. We never lie to our customer. Um, in this industry, I'm not sure that that is something that's held to across uh, the entire industry. But with our business, I feel strongly that our customers know that when they come here, not only are they going to get it done quickly, they're going to pay less here, but also we're never going to lie to them. So how do you keep your entrepreneurial spirit alive? I love that this business requires you to stay fresh on top of your toes. Um, we're dealing with a tech field here and, and it requires us to be fresh and reinvent ourselves every year. So the company we are this year is kind of a different company than we were a year ago. I think you're going to have a couple more uh, phones to be fixing here in a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. Um, well, that's great. I mean, it's so great that there's a place because, you know, like this one, you know, kids drop their stuff and break it and of course they always not me but uh it gets out of hand so i'm glad i know there's a place where i can come back to that's great absolutely what, what are some of this what are, what are some of the greatest challenges that your business faces greatest challenges today that this business faces is being relevant with the changing technology when yeah how do you sure. keep up with that because there's a new device like every week exactly and the tools to fix these devices they change with every new generation of device so the things that you've learned in growing your business, what advice do you have to other small businesses to be successful? I think it's important that even when you're a small business inside your house and you've got big dreams, I think it's important that you identify what it is that you are and what it is that you aren't. And so it's all about we're honest, fast, reliable. And inside behind the front door, it's do the right thing. And, uh, and that actually influences how we go about repairing devices. Uh, we want to save people time and money. We said that's who we are, and we're not going to do anything other than that. And that keeps us uh, true, and it keeps us growing. Well, congratulations on being Small Business of the Month. Thank you. We're honored. Great honor. So uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for uh, putting up with this. Oh, it was a pleasure to have you. There you go. Thank you. It's like yeah. you. Well, I'm sure we'll be back next week. So. All right, guys. Have a good one. We'll be Let's go, guys. Come on. See you later.